people will always ask me how we fared out last 2020 at the height of the pandemic. And they will always be pleasantly surprised with my reply. Would you believe Kayani Philippines achieved the highest sales in its history during this difficult time? And of course, the next question that they will always ask is, Kate, how did you do it? And my reply is really simple. Over and above the dedication and hard work of our people, there are spiritual practices that contributed to our success. And I'm happy to share that with you today. The first spiritual practice is quiet prayer or meditation. You know what, Richard? I came to know about quiet prayer as a young wife and mother guided by nuns who became my friends. They taught me the daily practice of entering deep into the silence of my heart and being present to the great presence who is God. You know, as a young mother with eight children, I came to see that this practice helped me cope with the difficult challenges of motherhood. Back then, I was struggling with a sickly firstborn child. This was followed by the horrifying experience of our two sons who were kidnapped for ransom in 1994. And then much later, discovering that my youngest child was not cut out for traditional education, which branded her as a slow learner. I realized that quiet prayer can help us get through not only the challenges of daily living, but also face limit situations in our lives. And when I talk about limit situations, I'm referring to extremely difficult situations where we are pushed against the wall and we seem to have nothing or no one we can turn to. For example, when one gets ser seriously ill or we lose someone we love or we get fired from a job or as a CEO, perhaps the sales of the company have plunged to an all-time low. Those are limit situations. Just like cell phones that need to be recharged, our hearts, minds, and spirits need the energizing power of quiet prayer. Oprah Winfrey said it beautifully. The number one thing we need to be successful in this world is something that gives back and nourishes us. And that is meditation, or for me, what I call quiet prayer. She said, meditation can help you fill your cup, make yourself whole so your cup runneth over and now allows you to give to others. Otherwise, you will feel burnt out because you cannot continue to give what you do not have. Successful people like Oprah, Steve Jobs, Simon Sinek, Vishen Lakiani of Mind Valley, Jeff Viner, the CEO of LinkedIn, among many, have found strength in meditation. As for me, I realized that through the daily practice of silence and solitude, we can find healing for the deep wounds of our hearts, strength for our tired spirits, answers to our questions, and hope that all is well and all will be well because we have a God who loves us. I've also seen that from moments of silence and stillness, creativity and inspiration flow, questions are answered, what we need comes to us with ease. Let me give you an example. The months of April and May 2020 were the most challenging times for Kayani Philippines as sales plunged to an all-time low. I brought this concern to prayer and in the silence of my heart asked God the question, how can I help our company bounce back from the disruption caused by the pandemic? And you know what happened. I came across the masterclass of Ken Honda on Money EQ at the Mind Valley platform. For me, this was truly grace. So I studied the lessons for a month. I practiced the learnings, especially the principle of arigato in and arigato out, which I have shared with Rebecca. And this simply means being grateful for the money we spend and the money that we receive. I learned that money is energy. It is all around us and flows to us as we need it. The practice of arigato in and arigato out 
what's supposed to attract the flow of happy money into our lives with peace and ease. And true enough, when I practiced it, amazing things began to happen. From out of the blue, a long lost friend called and greeted me, happy birthday. And she said, Kate, remember when I was down and out, you were there to help me? Please text me your bank account. I would like to give you a gift for your birthday. Lo and behold, I received a huge cash gift. Wow, I said to myself, this principle of arigato in, arigato out really works. I was inspired to create a simple module of the lessons I learned from Ken Honda, and I called it Money EQ, Resetting Your Mind for Financial Success. I shared it with the top business partners of our company and our management staff. And I told them, practice the learnings. In June, our sales grew by a whopping 70%. On top of that, it grew by another 56% in July. We continued to have a strong August, September, and October. The Philippines was, was back on track as one of the top 10 performing markets of Kayani worldwide. In 2020, despite the pandemic, we registered the highest sales in our history. So this is the second spiritual practice. Arigato in, arigato out, which simply means being grateful for the money we spend and the money we receive. I hope all of you will add the daily practice of quiet prayer or meditation, plus the conscious practice of gratitude, arigato in, arigato out, to what you are doing already. So you can see how you are able to fulfill the truest, highest expression of yourselves. I hope that with these spiritual practices, you can continue to contribute to the growth of your team and your company. I wish you all an exciting journey. Thank you once again to Richard and Rebecca for this amazing opportunity to be with you today. Have a beautiful and blessed life. Thank you all. <music>